how to sew the cowl neck. Let's see if I can do this in glow. Um, I suggest, you know, okay, if we were actually going to sew this, this top piece would be folded down. But I think for glow, I'm just going to cut it separately and I'm going to try to like superimpose it under the front. Um, so I'll take this internal line. I always like to do extend trimmed powder outline just in case. And then I'm going to right click and say cut. Okay, and then um, and then I'm gonna sew it back together. I'm gonna click. Oops, uh, oh, that's the wrong tool. There we are. Click, and then I'm gonna have it go this way. Do you see that little dash line? So I'm having my dash lines near to the left. I'm kind of flipping it around so that way I think the wrong sides will be together. And I think that should work because then when I look at my sew lines, um, so like right there. It's oh, no, here. Oh, this guy doesn't have sew lines. Where is it? He has a sew line. Oh, they are not flipped. I thought they would be, but perhaps not. Okay, I actually think it should go on the other side. Okay, so I guess I will delete that. This guy here, there, and then there, there, here. We'll see if this works. Okay, then, so I kind of played with it already, but okay, so if I select this guy, I want to right, okay, before I do anything, I want to select this guy, right click, and change the order and make sure it's in the back. Order, back. And then I'm going to right click it here and I'm going to say superimpose under. Okay, and then I don't know if my stitching's right or not. I guess I will find out when I simulate right now. Yeah, I think the stitching works actually. Now the problem is I have this really thick muslin, so I'm going to try changing it to a more drapey fabric. Some silk charmeuse, and right away it kind of falls. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? It didn't quite work the way I wanted. I think that's the back of the fabric. Maybe I will select it and right click. Pull it normal? Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, okay, and you know what? I honestly feel like this pattern, this is what it does, it's not the best cowl neck. Maybe it needs to actually be brought out more. Because this is how it looks when we sew it up in the classroom too. Honestly, it's a little stiff. Um, yeah, it's not ideal. I mean, maybe we add a fold line. That might be too much. I don't know. I wonder if I can soften this seam and make it more of a fold. I don't know. But anyways, that's how I did it. It's decent. It's not very pretty. So it kind of makes me want to alter the actual pattern, to be honest with you. Or I also want to play around with the idea of putting in an internal line and changing that to a fold, which I'll just try right now for fun. Why not? Oopsies, what did I just do? Okay. There. Maybe I'll just do it like at the, yeah, probably at the neck. Just do it. Uh oh. Hmm. Let's try that again. Click. Click and drag so it's kind of curved. Okay. Return. Alrighty. So I'm gonna. I really don't know how this would fold. If I use the fold thing, I don't know if this is actually a good idea or not. I'm not really sure. <laughs> this is experimental. Yeah, that was a bad idea. What if... Hmm. Yeah. Not so sure here. Let's try one more.
kind of works. I mean, that's a cowl neckline. Sure, I guess so. Um, but I really want to do so give it more fabric somehow. But I think we'll stop for now. But okay, so there we are, our cowl neckline. Voila.